Hi everybody, it's Merav, and today I'm going to teach you how to configure the different modules of Digistore and how to add a menu item to Digistore. So the first thing we need to do, we obviously already installed the modules uh, before, so we're just going to go to Module Manager, and we're going to look for all the Digistore module. And that's really easy because they all have the word Digi in them, so you can just filter by the word uh, Digi. Or Digistore. Okay, so here we are in the module manager. I'm going to enter the word DG here and I will find all the modules of Digistore. Here we go. So we have uh, one module that is Google uh, Digistore. That, that's to uh, track the, the analytics and it's already published by default. It already has the position debug by default, which is great because it's just going to be at the bottom and it's not going to dis disturb anything. Just make sure that your template has that uh, position. If not, change it to a different position. And uh, the next uh, module we have is DigiCut. That's, uh, that's basically a menu module that shows all the categories of your Digistore. So we're going to publish it. And right now, by default, it's on the left position. We're going to leave it there for now. By the way, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's up to you. And one item that is, uh, I think it's important to publish, it's not uh, mandatory, but I think it's important, is the Digistore shopping cart. And I'm going to open it because I want to make a change to the position and to the title. I want to put it on the right side and I want to change the title I'm gonna call it uh, let's see shopping cart or you can call it buy now or whatever you want and it's gonna be on the right side here I choose to show it on all the pages the reason I like to put this module on the right side is because it has a big button and it's a call to action which means uh, that's what people are going to see and people tend to look on the right, top right side to take an action so you want to have that module published there the Digistore Manager is uh, it's basically showing all the links that are related to Digistore like edit my account info, uh, my licenses, my orders, all those kinds of links so let's, let's call it um, uh, my account you can call it anything you want and I'm going to make sure that it's enabled and I'm going to make sure that the, sh the title is showing it's selected yes and I'm going to leave it on the left side for now one thing we forgot to do is change the DigiCut title so let's change it right now we're going to call it store categories and we're going to leave it on the left side as well now let's see how all this looks like on the front end I didn't have any modules published on the right or on the left so now I'm going to see what I added Okay, I had to go and publish this uh, cart module because I forgot it before, so here it is now. And as you can see, it's showing a big buy now button. I, I like a big buy now button because it makes it easier on your visitors to see you know, what they're doing. Uh, but if you don't want to have uh, this buy now button, you have two other options. And so let's take a look what you, let's take a look what you can do with it. We're going to go to components, I Joomla Digistore. And we're going to go to settings. Here at the bottom, it's giving me the option cart module buy now button behavior. And right now it's, it says show image, but I can make it show text instead. So let's see what happens when I do that. We are 
I'll refresh the page. And here it is, it's showing me your card is empty. And if I click on it, it will take me to um, my, my list of categories to, to shop. Okay, now let's see the, the last option we have here is show nothing. And let's see what happens when I choose that. So as you can see, it actually shows nothing. But if you want it to be more significant, go ahead and disable this title so it doesn't look weird. Because right now it's kind of weird, there's nothing here. But if you don't want to show anything, then make it show nothing and also disable this title. Okay, here are, here are the other uh, modules we, uh, we added. This is my account module. Edit my account, my licenses download, my orders. You can also make this module show only for people who are logged in, but I chose to show it to the public. But, you know, if you click on edit my account, it's going to ask you to create an account because you don't have an account right now. And if you click on my licenses download, it's going to say you currently have no licenses. But when people do have licenses and they have an account, so it's going to show them the right information. Now the last module we added was store categories and you can see that I can see the only category I have and right now I have no product so it's showing me nothing. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you was how to add a menu item to Digistore. So I'm going to click on ma main menu because I want to add it to my main menu and I'm going to click new. and choose Digistore here. And I'm going to choose the default layout. You can call it anything you want, but I like to use something very simple like store. And I'm going to save it. Let's see how it looks like on the front end. I'm going to go to the home page or refresh the page so I can see the new menu item. And I'm going to click store. And here it is. I can see all my categories. And I have no product, so it's not going to show me anything at this time. Okay, thanks for watching.